I didn't have support system. And so my vow to my children and to my grandchildren is that I will be there. And to be there with my daughter in this time in her life is everything. It was making sure that she was taken care of because everybody is so focused on the baby. And I think that what happens is the mom sort of ends up, no one is concerned about the mom. I try to give her time to herself, and I play with Dallas a lot, and um, I try to bond with him a lot, and um, I try to be more supportive to Janelle by listening to her, encouraging her, um, things like that, and anything that she might need um, to be there for her. So I'll hold her and, and tell her what a beautiful woman she is and an amazing mother and um, how, how proud I am of her. I think it's just, you know, being consistent and not taking it personally when the mom is tired and frustrated and, you know, ready to give up. I think that she needs to have a support system to say, you know, you can do this and let me do something else for you right now while you take care of the baby. Things have changed since I was a mom many, many ways, and so I could give her a portion of what I knew, and but that there was modern advice for her. She listened to what my daughter's concerns were, and she encouraged her. That made me feel really good. I would say that Wick had um, been there for her, and they're still there for her. Um, any challenges that she has, she can always talk to someone there at WIC and they give her a lot of information and it helps her out a lot being a new mom. Always be there for your child, no matter what's going on and be supportive, if, especially if your child is trying to do their best by being a new mother. I think that the more support that the mom gets from siblings and relatives and dads and grandmoms is what makes it a positive experience all around. Let them be. You know, let them be mama. And you just enjoy that grandma role, because it's a fun role. <laughs>